we're going to look at the pathway of blood flow. So here is the heart. We're going to divide it into the four chambers. We're going to look at the blood coming into the right atrium. There's three um, blood vessels that carry blood into the right atrium. We have the superior vena cava, the inferior vena cava, and the coronary sinus. And we'll just put CS here for coronary sinus. The blood goes from the right atrium through the valves, or through the valve located between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And that valve is called the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle is going to pump blood out into the lungs and it goes out through the pulmonary trunk. And the name of the valve that's located at the base of the pulmonary trunk is the pulmonary semilunar valve or the pulmonary valve. So we have the pulmonary valve. Okay, blood is going to go to the lungs. It's going to be oxygenated and it's going to return to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. So this right over here is the left pulmonary vein. Left. And this is the right pulmonary vein. They're going to take blood into the left atrium. Blood going from the left atrium goes into the left ventricle and it's going to pass through a valve, the, tri the bicuspid valve. The bicuspid valve is also known as the mitral valve. The blood goes into the left ventricle and the left ventricle is going to pump the blood out into the aorta. And the name of the valve at the base of the aorta is the aortic valve or the aortic semilunar valve. Okay, so let's look over here. I like to I like to look at the picture that way and draw it, but I also like to make our columns here. And we're going to say that blood goes into uh, the four chambers. So let's look at our right atrium and goes into the right ventricle. Blood is going to be oxygenated in the lungs and it's going to come back to the left side of the heart oxygenated. So I'm going to switch to the red color, the left atrium and the left ventricle. Okay. We have a blood vessel that's going to carry the blood into the right atrium. Those are the vena cavas, superior and inferior vena cavas. Oops, C A V A, sorry. Blood goes into the right atrium. And then it's going to pass through the tricuspid valve to go to the right ventricle. Then the blood from the right ventricle goes through the pulmonary valve for it to go to the pulmonary trunk. From the pulmonary trunk, the blood goes to the pulmonary circuit. and it's going to have um, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide here. So the blood becomes ox oxygenated. Blood becomes oxygenated. Okay, when the blood becomes oxygenated, it's gonna go back to the heart as um, we're gonna to switch to red because the blood is oxygenated and it's gonna go back to the heart through the pulmonary veins. You have the right and the left pulmonary veins, one for the right lung, one for the left lung. So the pulmonary veins take the blood to the right atrium. The blood goes, I'm sorry, to the left atrium. To the From the left atrium, it goes to the left ventricle and it passes through the bicuspid valve. The bicuspid valve is also known as the mitral valve. The left ventricle is going to pump blood through the aortic semilunar valve or the aortic valve into the aorta. The aorta is going to take the blood to the systemic circuit where the blood is going to be able to take oxygen to the tissues. That blood is going to go from the tissues 
and then it will come right back up here and end up in the vena cava taking the blood to the right atrium so there's the pathway of blood flow through the heart okay another thing i want to point out there is an eraser here okay let's erase all this right here because i want to look at the similarities of the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart So let's look at, we have blood vessels that are carrying blood into the heart. And anytime blood goes into the heart, it's going to go into the atria. Okay, blood from the atria will pass through the AV valves. And the AV valves are going to um, take the blood, or as, as the blood goes through the AV valves, it's going to go to the ventricles. The ventricles are going to pump the blood out of the heart through the semilunar valves into arteries and the arteries are going to take the blood either to the pulmonary circuit or to the systemic circuit 